made you open a little music on. Don't lean back, Nancy. Thank you. I will sing it for you, but oh, everybody would. Uh, we'll see, it's guilty to you. My daughters would go, Dad.
interrupting the Beatles. Magical mystery tour. Oh, are we? You're looking the wrong way, sir. Right, this is where John Lennon lived until 1960. You can, sorry, can jump off and take a photograph. His mom. John Lennon's house. Actually, his aunt, aunt Mimi's house. We didn't waste sixpence, which is about five cents, having John's hair cut. We cut it ourselves. Then you can get the name. Just here on the left hand side, we go straight on. This is St. Barnabas's Church. This is a Okay, we're at the Albert Docks. Liverpool was primarily a, a shipboard, shipping town, so you have to have pictures of docks. Boats. the cathedral that we visited this morning. Just do a little zoom on it. Kind of hazy, sorry about that. Shakespeare's birthplace. We're in Stratford. Upon Avon, as they say. Stratford upon Avon. Get it? Yeah, it didn't work. Mine didn't work with my camera. Yeah, I charged it. Oh, he's my after. Why? Who cares? He's just sitting on the camera. Birthplace of William Shakespeare. This is Trinity Church, the burial place of Shakespeare.
The cemetery outside Trinity Church in Stratford. Outside of Trinity Church. A bit more of cemetery. We're in Stratford, and this is the Avon. Stratford upon Avon. Beautiful summer day, folks enjoying themselves. Shakespeare Theatre. Because, of course, the port of London didn't have a anymore. Uh, but when this bridge was opened, it was in London port. In the time of Queen Victoria, we had to open it about nine times the time of the first year of operation. Nowadays, it's Sometimes two or three times a day, just a time, and you never really know in advance. They don't let the general public know. We used to have a city hall that looked like a city hall, very traditional. Uh, huge building, right opposite Big Ben, so a very prominent position. It was called County Hall and had over a thousand rooms. I'll point it out to the general public. Um, and this is Ken Livingston, the idea of the mayor of London. Tower of London. Nine hundred years old. <laughs> the back side as it approaches Tower Bridge and the Thames. front facade of St. Paul's Cathedral.
promised that we would have it up and running by December the 31st, 1999, but it didn't quite work that way. We were a few months late. Down the steps there, and just go straight, 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 straight until London Bridge. But this is Westminster Bridge, and uh, back in the 19th century, William Wordsworth, one of our romantic poets, wrote a poem about Westminster Bridge. He came here early one morning and he stood on this bridge. That is Westminster Hall, where Sir Winston Churchill's body lay in state in 1965, where the Queen Mary's body lay in state in 2002, and that's the oldest part of the building. The first Mary Queen of Scots, lots of other medieval kings and queens, but also many famous and important people, about 4,000 people in total, were buried here, in including the uh, oh, books of life. Chaucer, the father of English literature, who wrote the Canterbury Tales, mm. he's buried there. So, yeah. uh, Buckingham Palace. Flags are because of the Queen's birthday celebration that took place yesterday on the 17th of June. For 80th. 80 years old is the Queen.
the Irish Brigade. The monument to Queen Victoria. Buckingham Palace in the background. By the way. If I don't get run down by a cab, I'm standing in the middle of the road. Oh, it tastes like gonna get closer. <coughs> There's the guard, Buckingham Palace. He's not wearing the uh, big bushy red hat. I think well, maybe it was for the ceremony that we just finished watching. He will stand very still and then all of a sudden he will do his maneuver. Does that every five minutes or so? Mr. Abbey, close in person. Continuation of Westminster. Going to stop and walk some more. Westminster Abbey after a, another quick view of some of Parliament. They're across the street from one another. Just walked about 100 yards around the corner of the church and here is another side of it. And some of the area right around. Right around the Abbey. Standing here in the middle of a little side area to a busy road.
Ten Downing Street, home of the Prime Minister. The problem is, is because the nature of them all arguing, they didn't want to be seen in that light, so none of them have agreed to it. So we got EMI to actually sign up the Beatles. We've been to five other recording companies, amongst them Decca Records. When a man at Decca known as Dick Rowe said to Brian Epstein, Mr. Epstein, guitar groups are a thing of... on top of the Roma bars. So now you have two sort of areas which you'll see. And it was John Wood the Elder, followed by John Wood the Younger, built the areas that if you look on your map, you've got Victoria Park, uh, Queen Square, Circus, Royal Crescent. These are all, well, there you go. Right. On, your right. on your right. These are all beautiful Georgian buildings, really lovely. If we get a chance to walk around, we will, but we are a little pressed for time for the king. There are Turkish bars in there, a cold bath, which is at two, oh, that was two centigrade now, Celsius, sorry. And it's really cool. In 1499, so just turn of 1500. And because, okay, right in front of you, we're going to cross this bridge, and it looks like you're on shops, but look through the windows. Just a bridge? Yeah, Hul Hultony Bridge. I always say it wrong. Look through the windows. Nick's very kindly going slow. They are teeny, a metre long, wide, whatever. When we turn left, look back. Did you hear that? When we turn left now, look back, the view behind you. Look how skinny the shops are. Wow. Can you see? Pretty. Shops are built on a bridge. The Queen's birthday. This is the Abbey. This is our landmark, okay? Where every. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. 
that for a moment. He took a look at us. It's very uneven. Obviously, Stonehenge. I'll get you better views as we go along.